If you've been to the store lately, it can sure feel like prices have gone way up, and it's because they have. Yeah, so local economists say it's one of the biggest price hikes we have seen since the 1970s. Our Jeff McAdam joins us from Kearney Mesa to break it down. The inflation that we're seeing right now is one of the biggest hikes on consumer goods since the 1970s. The question is, when will it stop? Take a walk down any store aisle and you'll probably see it. The price tags have gone up. I think groceries and consumer goods like in Walmart might be a little higher. Yeah, prices are creeping up and it's, it's easily noticeable. Bringing home the bacon just got a little tougher to do. Based on data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, if you went to the store and bought these five common products, bacon, milk, lettuce, bread, and a pound of oranges, you'll pay about $16.03 for it, up from $15.12 last year, a 6% increase. It adds up. I'm a careful shopper. Uh, maybe I'm a little cheap. <laughs> And even if one of your favorite products did not go up in price, chances are something else might be happening to it. Shrinkonomics is a situation where, where companies, instead of raising their prices, will actually reduce the size as far as their products are concerned. Alan Jin is the Associate Professor of Economics at the University of San Diego. He says oil price spikes is a key contributor to inflation right now. He also notes that the average American family is prepared to handle the increase. Again, people have money. They didn't spend it, uh, they didn't travel, so it's maybe they built up what economists are calling a COVID piggy bank. But with products up 5.6% across the board, there's a concern just how long consumers can absorb the hikes. Alan has thoughts on when it might end. That the economy is coming back online almost all at once. And so you've got a lot of people scrambling. The supply chains have been disrupted in the last year. And as a result of that, we've got some bottlenecks and that's caused prices then to, to, to ratchet up. And so I think once we get back to normal, a lot of these odd situations then will, will resolve themselves and, and we won't uh, uh, see any more problems as far as they're concerned. Economic experts like Alan here say they hope to see things start to settle back down within the next year. He says right now it's the travel industry and car sales that are getting hit the hardest. From downtown, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.